um, on a lighter note, um, what do you do for fun? Out well, of the human rights if you If you end or if you end. <laughs> well, well, I think the, the greatest joy for me now comes from spending time with my three daughters. Mm -hmm. They're like little angels. They're growing up very fast. Um, I was supposed to take them for a swimming class. Uh, fortunately, because of the bun, it got cancelled and I could spare some time here. Um, yeah, at the moment for me, um, I think that is that is what really makes my life meaningful. Uh, frankly speaking, with this very busy schedule, mm -hmm. you don't have much fun time. But but spending time with the family, helping my wife do some cooking and some dishwashing okay. once a while, um, yeah, family life is what brings me uh, a great fun. And I have to do a lot of travel, so right. it so will how become. How do you balance uh, your well, travel? Life family. balances itself. I mean, when you get too exhausted with one thing, you you turn on to the other. Uh, um, so it it balances itself. I mean, um, when you realize that you are you are stretching yourself too far, you try to cut on cut down some of the uh, thing. There's no end to the grievances and woes of uh, right. human rights. So one has to prioritize it. And as you get older, now I realize that I'm not just 26 and. Mm, I'm, I'm, I'm 45 now and and physically also it's just not possible to be available everywhere mm -hmm. so it, now you have to prioritize and strategize and also it is important for you to build up a, a second line of leadership um, at, at some point as of a, in the life of an activist there was a time when you want to do everything mm. and then you realize that it's not possible to do everything so it is important for you to empower people and enable younger people to be able to do it mm -hmm. so i'm entering to that phase now where we, are, where we are encouraging young activists to take on the responsibility okay